doing so much. I mean, it's what you want to be called. It's just a title for you. But it's part of your biography, right? It's a fact that a man who now thinks he's a woman had a family, got married, and then magically decided to no longer be a man. I was talking facts, so your problem well, would be with telling of a biography? Well, I mean, it's, it's not that, it's not as deep as you think it is. It's just somebody, it's them now. And you, it's just being respectful. Oh, okay, but it's being respectful by not being able to act as if they were something that they weren't. Isn't their whole identity in being no longer what they were? So it no, shouldn't shatter it's them. Not their it should be identity. empower them. No. So then I, why do they call themselves trans if it's not their whole identity? Well, they don't. I people don't go out saying, "Guess what? Uh, I'm trans." Yeah, they, they just do. Kind of exist. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, so guys, we back again with a new video. Today, we're gonna be checking out Charlie Kick smashes. Radical pro trans students. Okay, let's go to my first time checking this out, and I would love to check this out with you guys. This is gonna be heated. <laughs> so let's get right into it. Hello. Um, I had a statement to say you were banned on Twitter or whatever because you dead named somebody. I just wanted to say that two wrongs does not make a right. It's not right that you were deplatformed. I don't think anybody should be deplatformed for saying anything. I fully believe in freedom of speech. But I mean, I, I wasn't so happy with, you, you seem kind of proud about, not proud, but it just wasn't, seemed wrong to you that you were dead naming somebody. I, I get it. You know, if it was a mistake, that's fine. No, it wasn't. But it wasn't? Okay. Well, okay. Then you're proud of it. That does not make it right. I think as generations go on, we become more accepting to things. And I think that even if you don't like somebody, it's not a good idea to normalize dead naming. Yeah, so I think can you explain to our audience what is dead naming? You probably know it better than I do. Is when um, somebody transitions and they choose a new name conforming to their gender. So if their name okay. was Lisa before and they yeah. changed it to Jack, if you called them Lisa before that, or Lisa after they transitioned, that is dead naming. What's wrong with that? I think it's very wrong because I have a lot of trans friends and if they were dead named, it would be, I mean, shattering to them because it's something that is so personal shattering? to them. What? Shattering? Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's who they are now. I, people don't transition just for the hell of it, you know? Um, it's a very personal thing to them. They don't do it to appeal to the other gender or whatnot. Yeah, so, but let's think about it. Isn't it part of their biography? Can you really erase history and act as if that wasn't your name for a while? For example, it was, at, it was another name than Rachel Levine. Well, why do names matter so much? I mean, it's what you want to be called. It's just a title for you. But it's part of your biography, right? It's a fact that a man who now thinks he's a woman had a family, got married, and then magically decided to no longer be a man. I was talking facts, so your problem well, would be with telling of a biography? What? Well, I mean, it's, it's not that, it's not as deep as you think it is. It's just somebody, it's them now. And you, it's just being respectful. Oh, okay, but it's, it's being it's, respectful by not being able to act as if they were something that they weren't. Isn't their whole identity in being no longer what they were? So it no, shouldn't shatter them, it should be identity. empower them. No. So then I, why do they call themselves trans if it's not their whole identity? Well, they don't, I... People don't go out saying, guess what, uh, I'm trans. Yeah, they, they just do. just kind of exist. <laughs> mm, that's, that's Twitter. That's Twitter. I can guarantee you. And I TikTok went... and most campuses and well, the trans groups and the no. trans flag and the trans no. parade I, and the trans I, I music no, no, no. and the trans stuff. People say they're trans all the time. If, if the change is not part of their identity, then why do they call themselves trans? Well, I mean, it's just a title. Everybody, like... Our society is more, you know, we want titles for just <clears throat> everything. I agree. So yeah. I don't accept the title, and I should have a right not to accept it. Well, you, everybody has a right to be respected. They haven't done any wrong no, to you. No, you don't have a right to be respected. You have a right to speak. You have to earn respect in a decent society. Fats. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I want to fully understand what you mean, like, yeah, so for example, I don't respect the Unabomber. Okay. That's an extreme example. Okay. I don't respect people that perform abortions. Okay. I don't respect people that medically mutilate children. Okay. And I don't respect someone that is taking Lupron and says they're a man all of a sudden and demands I comply. 
That's that's not the way the world works. Simple. Respect I'm, must be earned. I think True. respect is just a give. Like it's it's a base thing. It's not like I'm going to go into this room and say I disrespect every single one of you because you don't believe what I believe or you're not presenting how I want. You know, I mean. Well, okay. So what about my respect? <laughs> Why was I kicked off Twitter? You said it's wrong, but you can all of a sudden see where your viewpoint quickly becomes, and we have to shut somebody up because you deserve respect. I mean, it's. I mean, honest to God. I'm not trying to like, I'm kind of losing my thoughts a little bit, but I just want to put out there that I think it's just basic human respect. You know, it's, it's not that deep. People just, if they feel one way and they truly believe it, it's yeah. not just, oh shit, I feel like being a, a boy now. It's not just a on the whim decision. It's something that's held inside. Them. Right, well, hold on a second. But, but I, I just want to, I, I think you're being sincere in yes. this regard, but why, so let's just take gender affirming care or whatever you might call it, okay. right? Yes. So affirming someone's mental delusion where they think they're a man or a woman, why is that the appropriate line of treatment? For example, do we give liposuction to people that are anorexic? Well, no, I mean, I think... No, because we know better. We know it's going to harm them. and We love yes. that person. No, so I that's mean... not medicine. That would be torture. Yeah, and True. not everybody who decides to transition decides to change their genitalia or go through something completely irreversible, right? That's true. Some do, though. Tens I of do, thousands. I, like, I, I have conflicted opinions on gender-affirming okay. surgery um, because it's irreversible, and if it's a decision made too young of an age, then yeah. it's, it's, it's not right to do it on children. No, that, that, that's fair. I appreciate the honesty. Yeah. I, I really mean that, and you should be encouraged. I wish more people were sane enough to say that. <laughs> but let me kind of complete the point. A biography should not be eliminated because someone demands respect. For example, I can say that Muhammad Ali used to be called Cassius Clay. It's part of his life. And then he found Islam and he decided to be called something else. And all of a sudden you get this rancor and this uproar that somehow I'm being hateful and no longer worthy of a Twitter platform because I said a fact that Levine had a name and a family and was a man and then claims he's a woman. If all of a sudden history and facts can be erased, we are dangerously approaching a 1984 dystopian world control scenario that I don't think any of us should entertain. Final True. thoughts? Okay, to wrap it up, my point was basically just, I think it's better to normalize just, or not normalize, but like n not put out that it's okay to do these types of things. I think it's just general human respect. I think we just all need to become more accepting um, and we don't really need to you know. Got it. And so my opinion is 180. We have clarity, not agreement. I'm not going to accept, accept mental delusions with force. Charlie just made a valid point right there. You don't tell us to respect you. You have to earn it. And if I don't agree with you being a trans, you, you should not be angry. We all have freedom of speech. According to what you said, we all have freedom of speech. And Charlie is using his speech properly. So what is our offense? Why are they angry with you? Why are they pissed? He made a statement, a fact. He made a fact on, on Facebook, on Twitter, and he was kicked out. You see now, the, the, this Twitter of a thing, or they call it X now, they are just trying to promote all these um, LGBTQ um, work people and kicking people who are speaking out positively out from the platform, and which is not good which is not good because a society that's someone who is biologically male choose to be a woman and it's being increased in numbers like that we are diminishing it's as simple as that we are diminishing our human essence in this world it is reducing down so you don't tell me when someone i feels like to be a man and he's a woman, he just used to, he feels like he should be, he's a man. Then he becomes a man. The world does not evolve around you. The world does not work because of your feelings. If everyone is to feel how they feel, we won't be in this world. So one can just wake up, I feel to be rich. Then he demands that people should tell him that he's rich. But it does not work that way. You must work hard and smart to earn a good living. That is how it works. You don't, you don't cut corners because you feel, you understand? So that is why the ladies' points does not stand. 
You don't tell people how to treat you. People treat you how they want to treat you. It depends on your energy you give to them. You understand? So um, her point there still has no meaning. I know she wants to be caring and sweet and loving and at the win-win side, but you are supporting trans people because you have a lot of friends who are trans and you are demanding that Charlie respects them. The audacity for you to call and ask Charlie to respect trans people, it is, it is alarming. You know Charlie kicks it against such people. Like, he's, he's fighting against such aspects. Because if you say, according to the lady, you accept people who are who feels like or oh, accepts that are male, whereas they are female, to go to the male restroom. What? That's alarming. I'm very dangerous in our day and age. And some of them have not gone through their surgeries. They still have those hormones. Some of them are not taking the hormone blockers. They still have those hormones. It can come so. Rape, assault, a lot of things can happen through this trans of a, of a trend. So her point really does not count for me. There, there was clarity in the discussion, but there was no agreement. And she, the lady right there, she don't want to be the person like a hater. So I feel like she should, she should speak up and go and say her friends what they're doing is not right. She should stop hate, keeping it in. She don't want to be um, bad at anybody's side. She don't want her friends to be angry with her. She don't want Charlie to be angry with her. Nah, you have to pick a side. You don't, you don't, you don't stand for two. So guys, comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can. Subscribe to our channel. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku, bitch, in my bed. I